Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we're going to be discussing my 10 favorite nude lipsticks and I'm going to show you some liners that I love too. This video was inspired by Fritzy family Trish Ann who asked me what was my favorite nude lipstick. You might think since I started this video like this that this is my favorite nude lipstick. Do you know what it is? Obviously something glossy, right? But I don't have on a lipstick. This is just a lip oil. It's a clear oil from Sigma. See, it's totally clear. I have that on to nourish my lips. But if you look close, you'll see that there's a brown spot on my lips. Uh, my dermatologist has seen it and given me the green light on it. But yeah, I don't like that. Other than that, and really if I hadn't pointed it out to you, maybe you wouldn't have even noticed it. I could get by without a lipstick at all. Do you know what a nude lipstick is? Okay. Before I ever had a channel, I had a ton of lipsticks and a lot of them didn't even look good on me. So they just sat there and rotted and wasted. And you might think, well, what's your excuse? It's really easy. Just go online and ask Google, <laughs> what is the best nude lipstick? And Google can't answer this for you because the best nude lipstick for you is going to depend on you. It's going to depend on your skin tone, not mine. Now, if you have my coloring and you have my skin tone, and then maybe these lipsticks will also work for you. Or if you just like the color and the swatches I show you and you're able to pick that. But to say this is my favorite nude lipstick and then you go buy it thinking it's going to look good on you. Well, that might not work. A little funny story. Uh, when I was in my 20s, I went to the Elizabeth Arden counter. I went there to get a makeover and the girl did my makeup. And when she was done, she handed me a mirror. And of course, the goal here is to get me to buy the cosmetics that she put on my face. <laughs> Well, I was obsessed with my lipstick. <laughs> I said, I want to buy the lipstick. It's beautiful. What color is it? She just starts picking up all the cosmetics on the tray. She's a little bit miffed and I can't figure out what did I do? And she said, it's your mouth. I just put gloss on you. So for me, what I'm looking for in a nude lipstick is something that resembles this, but better. A nude lipstick is not any particular color. It's a shade that makes your undertone and skin tone come alive. I'm purposefully not putting on a liner for the lip show because I want you to just see the lipstick, what it looks like if you just put on the lipstick, no primer, nothing. I'm just going to put these on my mouth. Yeah, that's what we're going to do.
kudos to the girls who can do this because my lips hurt. That lip oil feels <laughs> better. I don't know how those lip people do those swatches. That's hard work and tears up your mouth. And if you're 59, you probably don't want to be ripping your lips like that. Anyway, <laughs> so I thought I would give you some examples of lip liners that I like. And typically what I like to do is take a liner that matches the lipstick. If it is too much of a different color, then I will fill in my lips and line them first. And then I will go in with the lipstick. If I cannot find a liner that will go with the lipstick I'm using, this is what I use. It's clear and it will, it's a barrier that keeps it from feathering up into your lip lines. And uh, yeah, don't ever forget that there's clear liners out there. In no particular order, Mac Soar. Let's just get my other Mac one here, Mac Whirl. So that one's Mac Whirl right there. I'm a rotten friend putting this in here. This is the ultimate liner for me, I think. I love this liner. It's Lisa Eldridge's Muse. I'm gonna draw that right here. I don't use Muse a lot because this is only for sale with the lipstick and I'm not gonna buy another lipstick and bag and everything to get Muse, but it is my favorite lip liner because it stays a long time, but there's the color of it if you wanna match any of these against it. This is Huda Beauty Muse. And you know, it's awfully close. So keep that in mind. This is Wonder 2's Must Have a Matte Needed Nude. It's really skinny. I love it with that lipstick of the same color. This is as close to a natural lip color for me. The, this one here. Mm -hmm. This one is Laura Mercier Macaroon. This one is Laura Mercier Hazelnut. This one by Wayne Goss is Natural Berry. And then this one is also by Wayne and it is Mauve. And I just took a picture of that so I can put it here with the names on it in case you want to see it closer. Hold up, this one rolled under my keyboard. I can't believe that I forgot to show this. So this is Juvia's Place, Love Me. <sighs> Let me show you that next to the Lisa Eldridge so that we can find out together they're nothing alike. <laughs> this one here is Lisa Eldridge and that one there is Juvia's Place. I wish I still had all the others, but you know, you have the one that we were comparing it against, but this one here is the one I do use the most because it's not very expensive. It lasts a long time and I really like the color on my mouth. And that pretty much does it for me today. So I hope that you guys know you're the best part of the Fruitsy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, just go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. My favorite nude lipsticks are lipsticks that I can't get skink up, scatting. Let's go scatting. I'm trying to be cool, like, <laughs> let's get jiggy with it. <laughs> like, do you even know what that means? No. No, you probably don't. How did that song go? Let's get jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it. What? What? <laughs> I'm stalling for words. I, I don't know what I want to say, but I would like for something to come out of my mouth. That is words that make sense. I never learned to cook, but I can ride a hook. Sing along with me, yeah, sing along with me. Even when I'm acting crazy, in me everything's all right. Oh. Your lips are moving, your lips are moving, your lips are moving, and you la la la, baby. I'm doing the funky chicken. <laughs> I push down that floor. And shoulder roll, shoulder roll, now hitch to the left and hitch to the right. Can you hold bite? Can you old man overbite? <laughs> Taking off all those lipsticks and putting them on all. On all? Putting them on all. Did you get any of it on you? Because that's kind of what that sounded like. I don't use Muse a lot.
What happened? I'm so scared of cords. <laughs> I already rinsed that off. What was that look? <laughs> Doesn't that look wonderful? Mm. <laughs>